Today, let's talk about two very powerful but often confused Airtable fields, lookup fields and rollup fields. A lookup field returns the value from one table into another. It is essentially taking a relationship that you've already established through a linked record and bringing in data from one table to the next. So it can be a little confusing to talk about. I'm going to just show it to you and I promise it'll all make sense. Let's come back to our handy CRM here. As you've seen before, we've got our contacts table and our companies table. And if you watched our last video on linked records, you know that you can use a linked record to take a contact and link it to a company. Now, what a lookup field does is it lets you take the data that's in this company's table. So the size of the company or the industry and bring it into contacts. So you can use it as you're looking at the contacts table. So let's go ahead and create this lookup field and then we'll talk about why it's really important. As you would with any other field, let's hit plus. Let's search for a field type. We'll look for lookup. And what it's going to do is first ask you what the source of that lookup should be. So where is it looking data up from, right? Um, and it's only going to give you fields or options here that you've previously linked, right? So you linked the company table or we linked the company table in a different field. That's an option for us. And then it's going to ask us which field from the company table do we want to look up? So in company, let's say we want to look up size and create that field. And there we go. So now if we pull this over next to our company's field, it'll be a little more clear. You can see that linear is a size of 50 people. Airbnb is 7,000, right? And these numbers here are being pulled directly from this table. So if I update linear from 50 to 60, and I come back to contacts, this is updated. Now that you see what a lookup field is, you can start to see why it's so important. Before, without a lookup field, what you'd need to do if you wanted to look at your contacts table and, and see the size of this company is you'd have to duplicate data. You'd have to create another field, maybe a text field here, start to write in the employee count, right? And then as soon as that changes or they get, gets uh, updated, you now need to update in two places, both contacts and companies, right? But with the lookup field, you don't need to do that. You just update in one spot, the source of truth, which is your company's table. It gets looked up and brought into contacts just as you'd like. And because it's here, you can work with it. So you can do things like set a filter. Maybe you wanna only find contacts where the company size is greater than, I don't know, 500, right? And despite the fact that this data doesn't actually truly live on this table, it lives here, you can still use it in a way that's productive. So that's really the power of the lookup field. That's why they come into play. So let's talk next about rollup fields. Rollup field is super similar to a lookup field. The difference being that a rollup field takes the data that's been looked up and applies a calculation on it. So it's almost like a combination of a lookup field and a formula field all in one. And again, this can be a little bit confusing, but as soon as I show it to you, it will make a ton of sense. So if we go over to the right again and add a new field, this time we'll search for rollup and you'll notice just like lookups, you're selecting a source, same thing. Company is the only option because that's the only linked record that we have on this table. And then a field that you want to roll up. Let's just start with name as one of them. And then now what's new is you'll notice this little box at the bottom where you can enter a formula, an aggregation formula as they call it. And so if you start to type here, You'll notice some of these pre-built functions. And so let's take uh, count all values and create that field. And I'll explain what that means in a second. So what is happening here in this roll field is that this is now counting the number of linked records in this company field. And so they're all one right here. If I go ahead and add a second one, this will update to two. And a third one, this will update to three, right? And again, the, the power of this roll field is in using it with these actual formulas. So you'll want to play around with things like averages and maxes, um, array joins. There's really, again, dozens of them. You can also use this generate formula AI to make really ca uh, powerful calculations. Um, but the key thing to generally understand is that a rollup is taking data that is from a lookup and performing a formula on it that you can use to, again, make your tables more operational. To wrap it all up, a rollup field is like a lookup field with the difference being that you apply a formula on it to make your spreadsheet more operational. And so again, in this case, we might want to work with this data and say a filter 
or a sort or a group uh, and only work with contacts here that you know have at least three companies or vice versa, right? You've just added two more fields to your Airtable arsenal with lookups and rollups. In the next lesson coming up, we'll get into the newest Airtable field, Airtable AI.